So I'm scared, we rolling They keep telling me to come back down But I'm like, why would I do that? Would I tell you Why would I do that? They keep telling me to come back down Say no more, plays no more, life's so boring if I'm so bored My cohorts, I'm in cahoots with, I'm in the booth with, we on some new shit shit All we do is spit like we toothless, they say we the hit shit, the shoe fits Walk in them, proof you live that, I'ma do just that, how just is that? Just to serve, that's my word, better learn your lesson quick Them kids are a force, some are forced to be reckoned with Work the first and second shift, where have I been? <laughs> oh, well, today I verbally committed to Northeastern University, and um, I'm excited. I really am. You know, I get to play in front of my family, my friends. Uh, I'll still be able to, you know, I'm here at home in Boston, so, you know, I'm always glad to be home, you know, so that's just the next step in the journey. You know, there's still work to be done. Come to be. Um, well... They had, uh, they sent one of their plays home, you know, um, for reasons, I don't know why, but, uh, you know, I was invited up to play, you know, I held my own, you know, play against, you know, guys like Johnny Lee, Joel, and, uh, Kyrie Black, and, uh, I guess they just told the coaches, you know, you know, the kids are alright, you know, and, uh, they just enjoyed playing with me, and we told the coaches that. They invited me up again twice, and uh, I just kept playing with the guys, and uh, they offered me after like two days. All right. Um, the difference between public and private school, I would say, is, uh, you know, there's less distractions. Here at Bremer May, you know, they keep us busy, they keep us occupied, you know, if we're not in class, we got study halls, we don't got study halls, we're practicing. And uh, that's, that's pretty much the difference. And, um, as far as my development between O'Brien and uh, here at Bremer, you know, before I came to Bremer, I really couldn't shoot. That was my, that was my Achilles heel. And, uh, you know, like, I just came here. I knew what I had to work on, you know, every day. I came in the gym. I made sure I took my shots. I made sure I used the gun, you know, to try to, like, just trying to become the best shooter possible. And um, I must say, like, over the year, I've become a much better shooter. What do I start? Greg Kristoff, uh, he's a great, he's a great skills guy. You know, that's his, that's his thing. So, uh, you know, I came in here the first day. We worked on my mechanics, my shooting mechanics. And so, uh, yeah, ever since then, you know, I've just been shooting. I've been shooting, shooting, shooting. Because after the mechanics, it's just repetition. The more you shoot, you know, the better it gets. You know, you gotta get all the muscle memory right. Uh, Tom, man, what, what, what can I say about Tom, man? He's he's changed my life. After, I mean, I just met Tom this year, and uh, he, he's had a major impact on my life. You know, from him being a mentor, a coach, as well as a friend. You know, I've learned a lot from him and his experiences, and um, I'm just grateful to have met him. Hey,